السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس لاسٹ ٹائم ان دا کلاس روم ویئر ڈیلنگ ود اے کوشچن دیٹ واز ایکچولی اسٹڈی فلو انرجی اکویشن اور وی کین سی فرسٹ لا آف تھرمو ڈائنمکس فار این اوپن سسٹم سو وی ہیڈ آلریڈی ڈن دا ماس بیلنس دیئر ٹوڈے وی ول بی ڈیلنگ ود انرجی بیلنس ان این اوپن سسٹم اف یو ریکال دس فگر وی ہیڈ آلریڈی ڈرون ڈرون ان دا کلاس روم وچ واز ایکچولی اے کنٹرول والیوم اینڈ وی ہیڈ اے سنگل اسٹریم آف فلوڈ Uh, that was uh, flowing into the system or in the control volume and that same stream was flowing out of the system. We considered that M1 is the mass flow rate at the entrance and M2 is the mass flow rate at the exit. We were having two sections, section 1 and section 2. We defined different quantities. You may be already recalling that there was <coughs> area of cross section, specific volume, mass flow rate, internal energy at the entrance and outlet. We had already defined that those quantities. I hope you recall those quantities. And we know that there is a datum or reference standard. And we consider that height of this inlet cross-section is Z1 and the outlet is Z2 from the datum. We also consider that uh, the heat input into the system or internal control volume is Q. And there are two types of work which were actually into the in the system there was one is flow work which we considered as pv or pressure volume work or the work required to move the fluid into the control volume and out of the control volume second work which was shaft work or mechanical work which was done by the fluid on the system so we have already done the mass balance which was mass entering into the control volume is equal to mass leaving the control volume or m1 is equal to m2 or we have after uh, uh, finalizing the calculations we had given an equation a1 v1 divided by v1 is equal to a2 v2 divided by v2 where capital a1 is the area of cross section of the fluid at inlet and a2 is the cross sectional area of the stream of fluid at the outlet v1 is the velocity of fluid at the entrance and v2 is the velocity of fluid at the outlet small v1 is the specific volume of fluid at the entrance and small v2 is the specific volume of the fluid at the exit this equation we called as equation of continuity now now after doing the mass balance we will continue with the energy balance for the same actually when we are do dealing with the energy balance we have to consider different types of energies that are crossing the control volume first of them is internal energy of the fluid that is stored in the fluid second is kinetic energy and potential energy of the fluid which will because the fluid is in motion it will be having a potential energy and it will be also having some potential some kinetic energy and potential energy third one is flow work or pressure into volume work or the work which is required to push the fluid into the system or into the control volume and out of the control volume last is heat input into the system and mechanical work which is done across the control volume now according to first law of thermodynamics we have that energy that is entering the control volume must be equal to energy leaving the control volume so by applying the first law of thermodynamics we have we have that energy balance can be written as m1 into u1 plus p1 v1 plus v1 square by 2 plus gz1 where u1 is the internal energy of the fluid p1 v1 is the flow work at the inlet v1 square by 2 is kinetic energy of the fluid because mass is multiplied to it so this is actually mv1 square by 2 plus mg z1 it is the potential energy of the fluid at the inlet plus q q is the quantity of heat input into the system should be equal to m2 that is mass flow rate out of the system into u2 internal energy of the fluid at the outlet plus p2 v2 flow work at the outlet plus v2 square by 2 kinetic energy at the outlet plus zg2 that is potential energy at the outlet plus ws which is the shaft work or the mechanical work done on the system so now we know that according to continuity equation or assuming the continuity of the mass we have m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m so writing the equation again we have m into u1 plus p1 v1 plus v1 square by 2 plus zg1 plus q is equal to m into u2 plus p2 v2 plus v2 square by 2 plus z g2 plus ws now we already know that we have a quantity u plus pv is equal to h where h is called as enthalpy of the system we already have, we have already done this in a class so we will have m into h1 plus v1 square by 2 plus z g1 plus q 
is equal to m into h2 plus v2 square by 2 plus zg2 plus ws. If we write this equation in terms of uh, per unit mass, we have h1 plus v1 square by 2 plus zg1 plus q by m is equal to h2 plus v2 square by 2 plus zg2 plus ws by m. This equation is called as steady flow energy equation and this equation will be used for, for the calculation of various numericals which we will be dealing in the next session inshallah. Thanks.